Welcome to the channel guys. This is my video on what exercise I have been up to each week during lockdown. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. All right. Hello guys. Welcome back. Hi. Oh, how? It is officially Monday, which is exciting. I love to start my Mondays fresh. And what I'm going to be covering for you this week is a week's worth of training for myself during lockdown what I've been doing, what exercises, my durations, and the reasons why. So here is the magic board, guys. This is what I fill in every week. As you can see, these two categories aren't finished just yet, but not to worry. The main focus right now for this video is my work and my exercise and what I do around it. So each week, I plan it out and what I want, what I want to achieve, for instance, my weaknesses, and then I start to move from there. Every Monday, on Instagram and with my clients, I will post out a challenge workout, which is usually around 20, 30 minutes long, and I'll ask as many people to get involved as possible. Then we go into my workout, which is usually about 30 minutes long, and this week it's an M on which you'll see as we go along the video. On Tuesdays, we go into a five kilometer walk with my friend. We need to catch up and doing some active recovery in the daytime. And then to finish the evening, going to do an Insta live workout again, but this time it's strength at 5.30 using some dumbbells. When we hit the Wednesday, it's usually a longer workout, more focused on my aerobic thresholds, hence the 10 come like a run workout. And then to finish that Wednesday, I'm going to do a workout with my friend Matt. He wants to learn a few more tricks on the rings, and I do too, so we're going to combine our knowledge, move to there. On Thursday, again, another Instagram live session for my clients and people on Instagram to circuit. So we're going to get the heart rate up and go for a bit more interval training. Then we hit the Friday. So it's my rest and recovery day. And the reason why it's rest and recovery is that I am PTing over the park from 11 all the way till 7. And my drive isn't the quickest. So... On that day, I'm going to relax, recover, but I will still be on my feet all day. It's not like I'm sitting on the sofa eating Ben and Jerry's. And finally, we move on to the weekend. I've got boot camps from 9 till 12 straight. After that, I've got a client. And then we're going to go with my friend from work into a strength session using his barbell, combining my dumbbells, and we're going to put together a wad, again, focusing on each of his weaknesses. But the weather doesn't look great, so if we don't manage to make it, I'll move my workout independently to the Sunday. And then Sunday, another recovery day. Focus on a 5k walk and some yoga. Again, get that recovery in, ready to start the Monday fresh. We're going to go straight into it. So. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm so the Monday challenge for this week is 30, 20, 10 split. So you do 30 push-ups, 30 sit-ups, 30 squats. You then go into 20 and then 10 to finish. You have eight minutes to complete that first section. You rest until minute 10. So the quicker you complete it, the more rest you get. And then you're going to do it all again in reverse order. So you do the same moves, but you go 10, 20, 30. And of course, add both completion times together. And that is your finish time. So that is your challenge for the Monday for everyone involved. And then we go into the Monday wad, which you'll see in the video. So we've got a 30 minute MOM. So it's going to be quite long. Again, focused on aerobic capacity but there's different moves involving my new dumbbells involving the rings and using pistol squats for my shoes but you'll see what moves are coming up after and again they are all moves well pretty much all of them which are focusing on my weaknesses of which i want to improve So I've had to extract the audio, don't worry, I am not one of these weirdos who can work out without music, that is just insane. But what I'm on now is um, section one, I'm on the last few reps, so we've got to 30, 20, 10, and I'm finishing off the last few. So this was a tough workout, um, the arms blew up certainly after doing 60 push-ups back to back, and then it, if I had the video, I don't sadly... But in round two, it gets even worse. The amount of stops I had to do on the push-ups are unbelievable. Hello again. So you don't have to listen to the sound of silence. I am going to be doing another wonderful voice over. So today's Monday workout was a 30-minute MOM, as you can see on the screen. We had 10 moves, 
All of these moves are pretty much need to improve on. Some like the push-ups and the burpee were to fill the gap. But I have just bought some new dumbbells. I can rack up to about 25 kilo on each one. But it's the first time I've lifted weights since lockdown. So 20 kilograms will do for the snatches, uh, for the walking lunges and the overhead presses. So what you'll notice with a lot of the moves, including this one, that... It requires a lot of grip and a lot of core stability. So that's a main focus of mine, to get a stronger core, to get a stronger grip to help me with certain moves. Handstand push-ups in particular are there to help me improve my handstands and handstand walks eventually. But of course, not as easy as it looks. The pistol squats, you can see, easier on the right leg. The left leg can barely get up, but we are working on that also. Uh, the dips which you see on the screen are to help me eventually when I can do a muscle up. The push press, upper body strength and then the burpee, because why not? Great success. Alright afternoon guys, it is a Tuesday and again we're going through what I'm doing this week in regards to training. So me and my pal Ryan, Shine. we're on a lovely walk over, technically in Stafford, over Chase Water. And we're treating this morning as an active recovery kind of day. And we're just gonna do two laps, which is virtually 10K around. And then tonight, Instagram Live, strength session with dumbbells, resistance bands, it's exciting. So the way I planned my strength session today was to go through heavy moves, then to go into some hypertrophy moves with more reps, less weight, then to go into some accessory work, so smaller muscle groups, and to finish with a little bit of core. Now, the people on my Instagram, I set up a poll and they all voted on what exercises they wanted to see. So I put pretty much all of those exercises in, but it wasn't actually a session which was focused on my needs and my goals. I like to help people out along the way and have a say in how we train and what we train on that day. But overall, it was a great session. I managed to work out strength, upper body, a little bit of lower body for 45 to 50 minutes, I think it was. And... The muscle burn was real. As you can see, facial expressions looking great. Uh, what to work out without? Uh, horrible facial expressions, right? But in the end, got everything done. I'm so happy and I believe everyone in my Instagram live was too. What is up guys, it is Tuesday evening and to finish my evening, I'm gonna be using my newly bought massage gun to help me recover a little bit better. Now, my advice, if you are serious about your training and helping yourself recover, then these are a great way to help and aid recovery faster. Of course, at this moment in time, we're not able to go and have sports massages. So this is going to help drain that lactic acid out of your system and your muscles a little bit quicker. So just a little quick example, turn it on to whatever speed you want. You put it across the muscles, which are feeling tight. And let's say you go around the muscle for about 30 seconds, um, trying to find those areas of tightness, and then you move on to other areas of tightness. All right, good morning guys. It is Wednesday and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for today's session. So we've got a lovely 10 kilometer run and then every two kilometer we're gonna be completing 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups. Now the way I plan this is that I like to have a longer workout so I like to get that aerobic threshold working on a Wednesday. And the reason I chose sit-ups and push-ups is one, sit-ups, I wanna get that core working and push-ups, I wanna involve upper body, but of course without having to run with lots of equipment being carried around with me. All right, hi guys, happy Wednesday once again. The video you're seeing, I'm not that quick at push-ups, don't worry, this is sped up by two. And as you can see, I'm looking as red as Larry the Lobster off SpongeBob right now. Breathe, darn you! Gah! 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 So the workout overall was quite challenging. Personally, I find running quite tough. I've just not got that physical capability, which is another reason why I try to include it into my workouts at least once a week. The sit-ups and push-ups weren't too bad. I had some friendly company along the way, people saying hi, giving me a, you know the runner's nod. But the workout was difficult because of the heat. I must have stopped about three or four times to walk just because it was too hot and to pour water on my head. So I am thankful that I took water with me and that's advice for you guys. Make sure when you are running or you're out for a few hours that you are taking water with you, especially in these hot and humid conditions. But thankfully managed to get it done and I felt great afterwards. My completion time 
was 64 minutes and four. I do want to do it again a little bit quicker, but I'm happy. Mmm, that tastes good. Well, hello there, sir. Didn't your mother ever teach you that it is extremely rude to chew with your mouth open? I guess not. All right, guys, it is Thursday, and on Thursday, Instagram Live, we do hit circuits. If you don't have me on Instagram, the link will be down below, but here is my username above. You can find me like so. It's also another great way to keep on track of what I'm doing each day. If you are interested in giving you a few little bits, pointers, tips into exercise, especially during these difficult times. But what we're doing today, again, on Instagram, I was feeling generous. I gave my viewers the choice, uh, a blank canvas workout on what they wanted to see in today. And literally every single exercise they picked, I just picked how it was segmented. So each round is two minutes with different ways of doing it. But we split it into some rounds doing Tabata, some rounds doing 30-30. And what you'll see soon is a plank which we held or tried to hold for a full two minutes but it's a great mixture of getting that heart rate up, involving strength sessions through involvement of HIT workouts, so high intensity interval training. Overall, we burn a great deal of calories. You feel good when it's done, although I can't say that about it during. Great success. Guys, it's Friday today and it is my own personal recovery day. One of the reasons is I am in my own uniform, represent the brand, right? Uh, and between 11 till 7, I am out training clients. So I don't really have that kind of time to train today. And my body needs a rest. It is completely broken from all the work that you have just saw in the videos. So today I'm going to be on my feet, moving all day, but not doing anything to get my heart rate high. Just moving about, lifting weight, passing them to clients. Three angle, three that push. We're going for 10 reps. Keep the core stable, that midsection tight. Get that back nice and strong. Try not to move anything other than the arms. Keep the chest up and proud, but the back down and flat. So when you're doing this, remember, we're pulling through the hips, keeping it close to the body. And of course, look pretty and smile. We've got lots of people watching us. That's looking good. Remember with thrusters, it's a big drive through the legs. We keep the chest up tall and proud, and we drive and lock those arms out at the top. Guys, I've got some good news for you. It is officially the weekend. It's Saturday. I have just got back from doing my boot camps. Now, sadly, everything didn't go to plan. I didn't manage to get my session in the park. The weather was just hideous. I wouldn't, one, have been able to record and send it to you. And two, using all my equipment in the park is going to eventually get it rusty if it continues to rain. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to do a weight session in the morning. And then today, I'm just going to relax, recover, no harm done, I know I'll make up for it. And I also know I've done a lot this week already. So if you are in this predicament ever where you miss a day of training, you gotta remember, doesn't matter. It's one day, you will make up for it. It's not the end of the world. To finish my week, I got up early and did an upper body and core strength session. If you remember my goals from the start of the video is to get my upper body nice and strong for most moves and to also incorporate a lot of core endurance. Now, it was tough to get out of bed early, especially on a Sunday, to get it done, but I'm so happy, so glad I managed to get it done. It's a great session overall, and it was also a great way to set me up ready for my walk and then to finish my workout week on a nice, light recovery, doing some yoga. Guys, it's the end of the week. I have finished my workout for today, a nice, quick strength session, doing upper body and doing core. I have finished my outdoor walk and I have finished my yoga. Now, proven that life will get in the way, whether it's the weather, whether it's family, children, more um, food, sleep, it will get in the way of your training. You've got to remember that when you're taking into account goals, um, scheduling and other little random bits and bobs, you've got to remember that that will get in the way. And it's totally fine, right? We've got to understand that we do and we are allowed that balance between life and exercise. Most of you 
watching this are probably not Olympians. Well, imagine, that would be amazing. Um, bodybuilders, you know, CrossFit Games athletes. So you don't need to worry about other factors in life getting in the way because it's gonna happen. It's, it's human nature, it will happen. But been a great week. I have had a great week of food as well. So what I want you to do for me guys is if you have watched it all the way to the end, congratulations, you've made it. Woo! Damn! Just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, write down any comments, one, on how you want me to edit my videos better, two, you know, what you enjoyed about this post, and three, what you want to see from me in my upcoming videos. But that's how we roll, this is how we train, this is how we sustain. So guys, enjoy the rest of your week. For me, I'm out. This is, say it with me, you know me. Peace.